So in this video, we're going to talk about the Vauxhall Vivaro or the Renault Traffic 16 reg. It's the 1.6 diesel. Now, what it's doing is um, it will come up with an engine failure hazard. It will tell you to stop, as you can see here in the video, and it's basically overheating. You'll hear all the fans coming on and everything like that. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's very scary. Now, this is what you have to do. This is the solution. What I found is there's... Um, not enough water in the cooling system. So I do have, well, I'm very lucky to have some water with me and uh, I'm filling it up and venting it, as you can see. So it's used a hell of a lot of water. I've used um, about six or seven liters there. And um, so there's obviously a problem It's gonna to have to go in and people are gonna to have to investigate it. Now there's the bleed nipple um, on the left hand side. Um, you do have to release that to get rid of any air locks in the system. Otherwise it'll just happen again. Um, I was roughly getting around 80 miles before I had to fill it up with all this water. So if you've got some water, fill it up. And as you can see, it's now cleared the fault because there was no, it's just, it's, you know, it's cleared the fault. You'll find 80 miles later, or show I did, it comes up exactly the same. You have to fill it up again. Now, if you want to see what the problem is, there's a hose here, there's a close-up of it. It seems to rub against something. And also the radiator has gone. Um, it's no surprise, there's plastic on the ends here. Uh, and it, I think it's been leaking from there. Very expensive job. Um, went into uh, the dealership, it was around 1,200 quid. I didn't pay for it, it was under warranty. Uh, but as you can see, you've got a really thin, um, you know, piece of rubber there that uh, is sealing against the piece of plastic. And I just, uh, you know, took the end off to have a look and have, have an investigation. And there's the plastic, basically. It's basically garbage. Um, you know, and just typical that a radiator has gone on a plumber's van, to be honest with you, it's quite funny. What I have been told is it's a very common fault on this van, this Vivaro or Renault traffic, this radiator, and so is the pipe. Um, we're on around 65,000 miles, um, it's three years old. Um, you make your own mind up as to what you think about that. I was not impressed, luckily, I didn't have to pay. Um, and again, here's the pipe. Uh, might be able to get a bit better. I'll zoom out in a minute. It's quite a, a bendy thing, but it's, it's been rubbing on something. Uh, that's all you can say. So it's been into the dealerships, had a new radiator on, new pipe, and uh, we're fine now. It's running fine, absolutely perfect. Hopefully, touch wood, won't have any more problems. Um, if I do, I'll be reporting it on this channel. Um, why not? People need to know about it. So uh, please like and subscribe. Just help um, the channel and hopefully this was uh, helpful if you're a van owner.